Today on Logan Lee's adventure, I hop all over the historic city of Boston. I'm actually here visiting a very close dear friend of mine, Stephanie, who's an optometrist doctor who just finished her grad school here in Boston. We are kickstarting our Boston adventures off with some yummy yummy food because when in America eat, the portion size in this country alone is one of the many blessings. Treat our stomach first and then explore, am I right? Just have the most divine tacos ever. And then guess what? Steph just did just now. What did you just order? Churros. What type of churros? Don't sit in it, churros. Yes, when in Boston. Right. <laughs> Look at these churros. Alright, so that was a cake ass taco meal. But Steph had to go back to her clinic for work. So now I'm gonna go explore her city a little bit and we're gonna check out the public library right here. Actually, this whole square is so stunning. Look at this. And then turning, turning, turning. Bam! Over there. And then turning, turning, turning. Bam! Quite a huge hard on for libraries and the architecture of libraries, and this one is phenomenal. Having grown up in Canada all my life, because it's relatively a new country to the north, we don't have that much enriching history compared to our neighbor down south. Just ask any kid in grade 7 Canadian history class. Spoiler alert, it's boring. But here in Boston and in America, history and tradition runs deep. Even in the Boston Public Library, open to anyone for free, you can feel the nation's story written all over you. I feel like I'm in a museum more than I'm in a library here. And look at the ceilings itself. Gorgeous. So this is the public garden in Boston Commons. Lots of weddings It's up called here. Public Gardens. Yes. Oh. It's Boston Central Park. Oh. Stunning. It is so beautiful. Look at that little lake over there. Tons of weddings happen here. You can ride swan boats over there. Oh, so cute. Steph, how long have you been living in Boston for? Ooh, in a couple of days, it'll be three years exactly. Damn. That makes you like, what, a Bostonian? A veteran. <laughs> <laughs> you can sum this city up in one word. What okay. would that word be? Mm, definitely historic. Ooh, yes. yes. You can Timeless. See the, um, the influence of America and where this is exactly where I was born. Yes. The tea party, everything is here. I love that. Like walking through time, basically. Right. Exactly. And the cool thing that I've noticed about Boston is that it doesn't feel the need to modernize like yes. other city. Yeah. It's just, is this who I am? Take me as it is. We're like been the same since like 1818, etc. We're still here. Right. Back there was Boston Public, public Gardens. Gardens. And then now across the street, it's still a park. That's what gets me. Like, and but it's, it's called. two parks combined into one, separated by a street. And this part of the park is called Boston Commons. Boston Commons. I love the name here. Like, yeah. It's so posh. <laughs> so this is the Freedom Trail that you keep following it. It leads you to all the historical sites in Boston.
we just got here and before it's even lunchtime, before the oyster bar, Neptune Oyster could be even open for their famous lobster roll that we're going to try out. There's already a lineup. Look at this. Ah. On a regular weekday for lunch. Are you excited? Thursday today. Thursday. Still. Yeah, very regular. Yeah. Are you excited for a lobster roll? I am very excited. Have you ever had one before? Uh, I don't think no. I've had. I mean, I had lobsters. I had yeah. rolls, yeah. not together. And when in Boston, you have to try this out. This is the Neptune Pearl, which is from Barnstable, Massachusetts. And new size, high salt, sweet butter fish. Yes, that's amazing. The next year, the Taco Bell from Neptune Town. Okay, they're a little bit bigger, I see that. Too large, high salt, popcorn finish. Oh, popcorn finish, I wonder what that like. Two for the Booty Blue. Yeah. That Maris Cotta is MD. I think that's me. Medium, medium salt, cypress finish. Okay. East Point. Which one? All the East Cape. From Canada. Oh, this is from Canada. Medium, medium salt, light. Two finish. Alright, so now we're hopping from Neptune's Oyster further into the north end of the city. And the north end is like we're into the Little Italy territory. As you can see from like all the pizzeria and gelateria places, right? Oh, and the sign as well. Look at that one. So, what is confusing about the sign? There's nothing confusing about the sign. No. I'm just saying that it's like we're into the Little Italy territory. What? They all point in different directions. Isn't Italy all the same way from here? Oh, true. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Why does Venice that way, but then Bari is that way, and then Sicily is over there? Yeah. Take everything for granted, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess we know who wants to here. 
legendary cannolis. There are over 19 flavors to choose from here. This is an institution. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, yeah. yeah. All right. That's the good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, so at the edge of the north end, we're at the waterfront right now. Yurin's gonna open our Mike Pastries Cataloni. Are you struggling? Yeah. <laughs> the two terminology up. Cannoli. Please excuse this face palm moment. Cannoli. Cannoli, cannoli, cannoli. <laughs> Go eat it, maybe it helps. This is the Florentine cannoli that we got and it has this unique shell that's made up of different nuts and it's like a little harder shell as you can see. There's like chocolate chips on the outside. Now I know why this is a must in Boston. It is so delightfully creamy, but the outside is really nice to hold it all together. Mm. I'm just in the food heaven. Cross the bridge from Greenwalk. I think that was Greenwalk, right? Yeah. Greenwalk and Greenwalk was from the north end and goes all the way along the wharf and the harbor to Chinatown's gate. And but along the way we spread off from the downtown area and now we're in Sea Point. And Sea Point is this new place as you can see, this new neighborhood that's not so new anymore, but ten years ago all of this behind us was just a parking lot. So Boston is really hard to find parking spots. But this is our parking spot and then they built it up to become Sea Point. So where do you park now? I have no clue. Maybe underground. Or maybe you should be eco like economically and environmentally friendly and ride bicycles like we do in the Netherlands. I just love that there's so much public space in Boston that everything is just so close to the water and that we can just walk. It's such a walkable city and it has an amazing metro system too. So, exactly. yeah, exactly. We made it all the way at the end of Green Walk is Chinatown! Look, that's the Chinatown gate. I love that there's an official entryway into this neighborhood. Let's go explore it now. <laughs> Boston. Such a walkable, beautiful city. Ooh. I'm all these languages around me. I love this. Everybody, this community, they're out. They're playing cards. Look at this. It's punk. They're literally betting money as well. Oh, the energy here. Alright, this is just part one of my Boston adventures. Give this video a like and leave a comment below. Click play on the next video for part two. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already because we want to take you on a whirlwind of adventures. <laughs>